Okay, Cody. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how you got started with riding. Oh, I had a bike uh, when I was about 18. I was married. Bought a motorcycle, and uh, about a week later, the wife told me she was pregnant. So we gave up the bike <laughs> for the baby. Uh -huh. Interestingly enough, later that baby, my daughter, marries this nice young man, Squatch, and he trades something for a dirt bike he's never ridden. I go with him to pick it up. As a father, I must teach this young man how to survive, correct? <laughs> Uh -huh. So suddenly I needed a bike and, and that's how it started. Both of us were late risers and uh, we figured out brilliantly one day, hey, if we camp where we're going to ride the night before, then we're already there in the morning and we're not getting there when it's dark to start riding. <laughs> and that's how this whole thing started. And then this guy came in the picture. Aww. And he loved the dirt bike. He would sleep by it. Uh, he chases them on the trails. He loves it. And I saw your guys' video, and I was like, "That's that's the deal. It's happening." So awesome. Luckily, and, he loves it. Yeah, wow, that's awesome. And then, what about adventure riding? Now, now, tell us what you're riding, and uh, what you started with, what you got now. So this was my first adventure bike, and my first adventure ever was the Husqvarna 701, with, not with the Husky on it, but he is now. Um, borrowed it from a friend, took it to Idaho, met Tim Collins, and did the backcountry discovery route, and I fell in love. I mean, to learn that you can live off what you carry on your bike was amazing. You go home and look at all this stuff, it's like, you know. So I fell in love, ended up getting the bike, and, uh, that's where we are. We yeah. also, now the wife's into it, so we have a, a BMW 800 that I take the wife on. And kind of adventure riding is life now. Cool. And how did you train DJ to ride? <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily, I mean, he loves the wilderness, he loves the trails, and he liked the bikes. So I did put him on and like rode around the block with treats kind of in my pocket accessible, and as we went, very slowly around the block. Treat, treat, treat. He probably puked that night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> but he loved that. And then, you know, we slowly, well, I think you guys suggest slowly working up to it. I just took him camping. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, to a scent rich destination, that's yes, a good thing. Yes, that was the thing. Uh -huh. It was like, make sure your stop is a, is a very fun place. Yeah. And, and we've tried to always incorporate that now. So he loves it. He'll go to where I keep the luggage, scratch it, and then he'll run to the door that we get to the bike from and scratch that and look at me like, let's go. So people have asked, maybe you're just forcing your dog to do this because you want him to. And after seeing that, I'm like, no, yeah. um, he kind of forces me to go sometimes. <laughs> what's, what's been the hardest part about riding with him? Um, or the I was process. really nervous about it. Mm -hmm. I think more than the dog was. And, um, I mean, he loves it. The hardest part, I think, is as we're riding along, sometimes he'll nudge me with his nose. Or what I think you're doing, he's trying to get his goggles off on my back. <laughs> it's always, you know, when we're at speed. So I get like, please stop. <laughs> but I think that's pretty much it. I, and you I use the Rex Specs with him? him? On. Uh -huh. Yeah, the Rex Specs. We've tried the ear things. Uh -huh. Uh, he managed to get that off and they were attached to it. Mm -hmm. Fell off in a circle uh -huh. where we stopped. He got off the bike and ran right to him to show me where they were, <laughs> which was funny. <laughs> He's like, they're right here, see ya, and he was out. Had to go pee. But <laughs> so you're saying getting him up there is the hardest part? Yeah, um, I did not take the time and treat him. and <laughs> Like, I so wanted you to go him? adventure. So yeah, I, I'll, I'll show you, okay. I'll pull you here. And <laughs> That's great. And the other, the other hardest thing is getting him to put his butt far back. But yeah. Come here, buddy. Look out. Turn around. Turn around. Yep, he's good. Up. Come here. We're getting up. Get <laughs> <laughs> up, up Hyatt. Yeah. And then we go. say, scoot your butt back. <laughs> oh, wow. One he more time. Great. Scoot your butt back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that is one trained dog. That's my buddy. Uh, so Moxie, you can't come too. It looks like Moxie wants to come as well. Yeah, aren't you a good boy? How does he do when other people come and want to love him when he's up here? Um, okay. Yeah? Does we he don't ever... have that a lot. Uh, usually, even if we stop for gas, my gas is under the seat. Oh, so he has to get down. So he has to get down, which is uh... kind of a bummer. But it is good when people So come you up, have to so. take the cushion off and then you take your seat off? Or how, where's no, the gas? So the gas is just right under the hatch. Oh, Boom. right here. Okay. Oh, that's amazing that that all worked out well. So, and if I got him to sit up, that would. Uh, okay. But yeah, so that's that was fun customizing. These guys gave me a custom video helping me get my camera mounted and to mount this. How does he do with laying down and staying in the laying down position? He does, he does pretty darn good. Um, Took me a little time. He, he goes side to side. Okay. I'm sure your yeah. dog does yeah. the same. At first, that really made me nervous, but he likes it. It's funny if there's scenery or something on one side, he'll he'll look to the scenery <laughs> or the wind. Yes. He'll hide from the wind. I uh -huh. found Behind it kind of tucks yeah, in. Yeah, so does she. And it took me a minute to realize what he was doing, but yeah, he's a great boy. He yeah. loves it. Huh? He's a good guy. Definitely good. an active <laughs> sniffer. I know you can oh, see that. Oh, he smells the two-stroke gas over there. Yeah. <laughs> you think Dad's gonna leave and, and ride the dirt bikes? No. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. The other thing is, I had a while I was waiting for this harness, I had bought like a, a tactical yeah one just so we could go. Um, since I got this, it's been so much better. Oh, good. This part, especially yeah, the, the back. Yeah, put it in that one. It just so much better. So I'd say if you get in the cockpit, get, get the harness. These guys have it figured out, no joke. And then I just kind of tighten that down. I have toyed with, he likes to scooch his butt forward. Mm -hmm. so, I, <laughs> uh -huh. so I have done it and pulled it back here. Okay. But that's not how you guys did it, so I'm trying different. And then I usually have to. Yeah, we do too. Let's take it on. And then <laughs> you try not to catch a dew claw. Yes. <laughs> I love that. And uh, you know, you should buy two rock straps that are the same. <laughs> I've got two that they only fit into one. So you get them right. So if just ever the, the front like that and Ever the day will come when they learn to do it themselves. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Strap yourself in, pal. He's smart enough, but I don't see him doing it. He, he likes to be free, and he sees a bird right now, which is yeah. the biggest <laughs> challenge. And then, okay, so you're keeping yours a lot looser than we keep ours. Well, I get it. I you get tighten it, a lot. it after? Oh, yeah, okay. I get it a lot tighter, and I saw how you guys kind of tape it. And, yeah. But, uh, and then I usually have to kind of. Get your butt back. back a little bit. Yeah. It's a pretty good fit. Could be a little bit longer for him. Yeah. Yeah, and he's not all the way back. But still, yeah, yeah he could be. A, it could be a little so, longer than cockpit. I mean, it, it leaves me not a ton of room, but I mean, he, yeah, we have fun. Look at that face. <laughs> now, he doesn't sit here long. Usually, we just go. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, the second we stop, he wants the yep. goggles off. Yeah. That takes the longest. And once the goggles come off, he wants off. Yeah. So then there's a bit, a bit of fussing. Just a huh? learning curve, but yeah, we love it. Mm -hmm. cool. Taking your best friend on one of your favorite things to do is like so cool. Mm -hmm. so good, DJ. Awesome. Yeah. So how how much does DJ weigh again? He's about 80. Okay. And have you had any issues with tip overs? Have you gone down with him before? What was that Whoa. like? I ride pretty aggressively usually off road, so yes. Um, the first time I took him out, I uh, tipped over. Uh, didn't make it up a hill, and he was a lot looser. Uh huh. And he kind of came a little to here, uh -huh. but he was fine. The bag stopped, and he was just like looking at me <laughs> like, "Are we gonna go? What? What are you doing?" I'm freaking out. I'm like, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" I unbuckle him. He runs off. He's he doesn't care. A few minutes later, I parked the bike, went to go get my drone that I had lost, and uh, left him for just a sec. I was 
was in a panic. Mm -hmm. I have footage of him. And this guy rocked mm -hmm. the boat. He knew what he was doing, and, and he came out. And uh, I mean, he's been fine. I've had a few downs. The tighter he's in, usually the better. Mm -hmm. He usually, knock on wood, comes out great. But yeah, this this especially if you have luggage on, mm -hmm. I found pretty good. So yeah, and I get a lot of crap for for that. But uh, laying down, if it, had he been sitting up or something, he could have got squished by the bar. He could have yeah. just kind of keep him centralized and safe. Also, riding, he doesn't shift as much. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like if he was sitting up, yeah, he'd be, be a lot of weight. Yeah, he'd be moving around a lot more. Um, you know, and if we're doing long miles humans mm -hmm. we usually sit on our seat we want a comfortable position mm -hmm. um i'm not riding a thousand miles standing up the whole time yeah so i kind of like to think of the dog the same way right yeah. like great yeah no fantastic so how can people find you they want to know about how you ride along with dj and want, want to <laughs> see all the footage that you've got how can people find you uh the number two wheels and a tent. Also, more uh, footage will be coming out with DJ on Husky on the Husky 701. The second Husky is H-U-S-Q-Y instead of K-Y. Yeah, it's tricky. I know, I know. You can't figure that out. Two wheels and a tent. You'll find me. And do you have any interesting rides coming up that you're planning to do with DJ? Well, we are uh, planning on doing the the Utah BDR, which is 90 or 95 percent off-road, about 800, 850 miles. So wow. we'll be doing that soon. Just the timing thing with the wife and birthdays of the children, and as soon as I get that window, we're out. Awesome. <laughs> so don't forget to check out Husky on a Husky or Two Wheels in a Tent. That's where you can get all the information about Cody riding with DJ on the back.